Okay, can you see me? No, you can't. But that's okay. Okay, guys, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna swing around. I'm gonna park the old bike up. But I had to. I simply had to. I had to make this clip. I had to make this video. What I've got in my hot little pocket. There's some keys, all right? These are the keys to my place. I've just picked them up. I'm about to go in and check it out for the very first time. I'm number 48. The unit that I originally checked out was number 58. So I literally have never ever stepped foot inside this unit before. And I'd be doing myself and my channel an absolute disservice if I was going to go inside that unit and check it out without bringing the camera with me. This is going to be exciting. This is my place. I've finally done it. I've finally secured a rental. I can finally have my kids over. And I can finally set up my computer again. I have unpacked my Mac and packed it up again five times in less than four weeks. I'm absolutely sick to death of it. I'm paying $280 a week for this unit. It's all I need. We've got a basketball court. We've got a swimming pool. We've got a car park. It's furnished. I don't need anything else. Guys, I needed to stop here in one of the only places you're gonna find shade along this road, which is underneath um, each of these trees. So I've stopped, we're doing this, we're about to go and check it out for the very first time. Uh, I do need to give a shout out to my ex, I've just put out that video after being here for two weeks, alright? I've just released that video after being here for two weeks, talking, talking through my uh, depression, despair, des desperation, the way I was feeling after due to monetary concerns having to move into her place. As a friend of mine said, there are peaks and valleys. It's never going to be smooth sailing. It's been up and recently it's been really, really down. But now that I've got these keys in my pocket, now that I've finally got a place I can call home, not that I've seen it yet, but we will soon, I feel like that, that, that valley that I've been in the last three or four days is finally, you know, creeping up and it's going to be a peak and I just hope that we can stay up there. But I do have to give a big shout out to my ex because at the end of the day, guys, at the end of the day, we've hurled a shitload of abuse at each other. But she will always care for me when I really need it and I will always care for her when she really needs it. And that's what we need to do as parents of these two absolute gorgeous daughters that we have. That's all I'm gonna say. I will bring the camera back out when we're about to put the key in the door. It's a, very, it's a very, very exciting day. I mean, I've got my wheels over there. I've got a house now. I've got my two kids. All I need to find is a job. So with that being said, I'll see you at the front door. Okay, are you with me? We've found the right car park. That's a good start. That's a real good start. You see that? Can you see that? That's us. Now we're going to find the unit. Now I'm led to believe I'm in luck because it's on the end. We only have one neighbour as opposed to two. So that's a plus from the get-go. And my friends, here we are. Now I don't know how many YouTube vloggers are going to be living in this unit complex. In fact, I'm going to say zero, but there's one now. And if I can get into this door, I'll be ecstatic. <sighs> okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Please work. Now remember, I haven't been in here yet, so we're doing this together.
Okay, first things first. Alright, we'll put it on medium. Now, I was led to believe that this unit in particular has a, a, a newer and bigger couch. It's got a flatter TV. It's got a bigger dining set. So, <laughs> this is it. Oh my god, I'm fucked, man. I have wanted... Let's wait for these lights to come on. Oh my god, this has been a day I've been looking forward to for so fucking long, guys. I'm telling you. We've got a small but efficient kitchen, sink, stainless steel bench. <laughs> I feel like a real estate agent. Um, trying to sell a $280 property, $280 a week. In fact, I looked at the sale price for this unit. It's less than 100 grand. Less than 100 grand. We've got a cooker, we've got an oven, we've got a microwave, we've got a fridge, which I'll turn on if it's not being turned on already. It is. It's cold and it's got a light. All right, we're winning. What's in here? The laundry cupboard. Nothing. But I'll tell you what I'm happy with, all right? It's furnished. We've got a dining table with six chairs. We've got an absolutely comfy looking L-shaped couch. I mean, that looks, that looks comfy as fuck. In fact, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna try it out for you guys right now. And yes, yes, that's more than enough. We've got a 32 inch flat screen TV. We've got, well, I saw this in the other one, but it's uh, under, look, this is my storage cupboard, basically. Um, similar to Harry Potter's bedroom back in the uh, Philosopher's Stone and so forth but yeah okay before we go upstairs because that is where me and my kids are going to be sleeping and that is most probably where my computer is going to be sitting as well uh, we're going to take a look at the backyard for the very first time because i'm on the end i, I do believe i have a, a, a slightly larger slightly wider backyard so let's have a look i wonder who my neighbors are There you have it. Let's have a look over the fence. Yes, it is slightly wider. In fact, I've got a side gate. And I've got a, <laughs> I've got a clothesline. <laughs> Guys, oh my god. So I can do my washing and I can hang it up. Brilliant. I t I'm telling you. I mentioned in a previous video, I would live in a cave right now if it had air conditioning and I could lock it. So this, guys, is a real step up. This is a real step up. Now let's have a look. Up the stairs. So we've got tiles on the ground floor. God, it's small, but that's all I need, seriously. Um, we've got some nice wooden stairs leading up to the top floor which includes the bathroom a storage cupboard and two bedrooms so let's have a look at the bathroom <laughs> now that is that's a baby sized bath I ever did see one in fact you know what we're going to do let's test it out i love having a bath i haven't had a bath in years well what feels like years but it's actually months um, but we will test this out if i can just focus for a minute let's do we have a bathroom light? Yes, we do. All right, let's have a look. No shower curtain, but uh, certainly a, a bath. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah. Not, not the most roomy, but, but it'll do. And it will certainly do for my kids. And that's exactly what I thought as soon as I saw it. That is the perfect size. That is literally a kid's bath. Holy motherfucking shit. I have never seen a dirtier bathroom cabinet in my entire life. Um, we won't go there for now. But what we do have, 
if I can just turn this on. Please and thank you. Um, 25 degrees, absolutely not. Let's bring that down to about 20, 21. This is the first bedroom. I believe this, is this the master bedroom or the, or not? Um, I'm gonna say this is the second bedroom. This might be the kids one, but I might have to steal their bed. So we've got a walk-in, well, not a walk-in wardrobe, a, an inbuilt wardrobe. Um, not the not the biggest We've got an air conditioning unit in each bedroom, which is a, a major key We've got a, a double bed and a desk through here We've got Once again a double bed uh, A bigger bigger wardrobe. This must be the master <laughs> a Bigger wardrobe sweet that'll do me and in the nook and cranny here, we've got a, a desk set up. And I reckon that might be exactly where, if I've got a plug, no plugs. Oh no, there's one there. Okay, so that might be where I set up my computer. Um, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Guys, this is not the best, but it ain't the worst, and it will do for now. I'm not sure about these stars though, have a look at this. <laughs> Maybe, <we're laughs> what the fuck man, come on. Couldn't you at least take the stars off the roof? Okay, god damn. I don't know about this. But like I said, it's gonna have to do. This is my place. This is where I'm living. We've got three air conditioners, one in each room, and that is, <laughs> that's a huge factor, to be fair. Uh, let's, let's try this one out. Boom. Let's bring it down to 21. And uh, Bob's your uncle, as they say. I'm not so sure about that bathroom, mate. But we'll shut it. What I am sure about is that this is my place, this is my residence and uh, if I could just pull out a chair here and address you properly, I will. It needs a bit of cleaning man, it needs a fucking bit of cleaning alright. I'm kind of disappointed with how clean it is, or how dirty it is. It's fucking dirty, but it's mine, it's $280 a week. We've got a swimming pool, and we've got a basketball court. We've also got off-street parking, and that, my friends, is more than enough. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. What I'm going to do right now is go over to my ex's place, pack all of my stuff into her car. She is assisting me with my moving, which goes back to what I said before. You know, she, she will take care of me if I really need it. She has taken care of me when I really need it. It's just that that communication factor hasn't been there, and that makes it hard. That makes it hard. It makes it not worthwhile living together. And so that's why this just simply had to happen. It's fully furnished. I can wash my clothes. I can dry them. I can cook something to eat. I don't really want to look inside that oven, but I will. Just not in this video. So thanks, guys. Thank you so much for the support. It means a lot. Um, this journey's just beginning. And you guys are coming along for the ride. So peace out. Thank you and good night. Fuck guys man, I need to make this video. This is the realities of it, okay? This is the realities of the fucking situation I'm in. I've got my stuff, thank God I'm traveling light. But due to Miffy and I having an argument when I got there, I've made five trips on the back of my scooter with things like suitcases and fucking iMac computers. The spite that both of us have for each other is, is Inconceivable, I don't even have a word to describe it. She was meant to help me with my stuff. I got there, the kids were asleep. I said, look, I'll take the car myself. She said, no. I said, what, you're gonna wake up the kids? That's stupid. In the end, she threw the keys at me. She said, here. I said, well, isn't it, isn't it a better? She said, shut up, threw the keys at me. I'm like, fuck you. I threw the keys down on the ground. I said, fuck you, I'm gonna do it myself. And that's exactly what I've done.
I said, leave me the hell alone. None of that needed to happen. It may be my fault. But at least all my shit's here. I did it all on a scooter. And that, my friends, is the end of the vlog. So I'll see you later. Peace out. Right, I'm back. Fuck, I feel like shit. Fuck, I feel like shit, guys. That should not have gone like that. That should not have gone like that. So you know what? I've got to pick my, I've got to pick my bottom lip up and fucking be a man, be a 30-year-old. And do what I need to do and, and sort this place out. That's my next mission, okay? This vlog's been as real as possible, as real as it gets. There's one thing I need to do. I need to go to Kmart. I need to get some bedding, okay? I need to get some cloths, some spray and wipe. Wipe down the surfaces. Wipe down the fridge. Wipe down the, the, the bathroom and the kitchen. Once those two beds are made, one with... I'm going to say either blue or grey sheets. No covers at the moment because we don't need them. And the other one's going to have purple sheets. Perfect for my daughters. Tate loves purple. Tristan loves purple too. If I had three beds, I'd make one pink, one purple and one grey for me. But we're going to go purple for now. I guess it works out well because I didn't, I honestly didn't want them to come round here and see it in this state, you know what I mean? I wanted to make it a little bit more homely, I wanted to get some food in the cupboards and some drinks in the fridge and so they could come round and we could sit down on this very couch, watch some TV and have something to eat and just chill. I mean I wanted them to, I, I want Tate to go upstairs and see her, her purple sheets, you know what I mean? I, I, I wasn't ready for them to come over and that's what played into my mind when I saw them asleep I thought yes this is my opportunity, I'll take the car myself, I'll get it all done, then we can bring the girls over. That wasn't good enough for Miffy, she thought I was up to something, I know she did. She literally would have thought no Jacob you've got a girl around here, you don't want me to come round. I mean she, she's, oh. <laughs> and with that I'm going to leave it there. In the next video, I'm going to get the girls round, we're going to chill out, hopefully I'll have them f for the very first night, okay? The first night in my life that I'll have both my girls over to stay. And that, my friends, is a real success. That's what this is about. That's why I'm here in Rockhampton. I'm not here for me, I'm here for them. That's what you'll see in the next video. Fingers crossed. And so I'll see you then. This is it. This is, this is me signing out once and for all, okay? Peace out, guys.